new quality. How ex Hi! Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Nisha and this is my channel. I'll show you tips and tricks on how to live a more compassionate life with your the animals and yourself. So if that interests you, please click that subscribe button and let's get into it. So something that's been driving me crazy lately is that I'm getting so many messages about natural deodorant and just no one is really talking about the real deal with natural deodorant. Now I've been wearing natural deodorant for far longer than I've been vegan. I've been wearing it since I was like, I can't do the math, but I've been wearing it for like about six years. So I am pretty well versed in the deodorant spectrum and I've gone through everything like the detox, the skin irritation, finding smells that like go well with your sweat and these are just some tips that I'm gonna give you guys so you guys know which ones I really like, especially if you have sensitive skin out there, I'm gonna help you guys out, hopefully, I hope, and explain kind of what I've learned and what I've researched about natural deodorants. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, in the case of deodorant versus antiperspirant. So if you're someone who has hyperhidrosis or you sweat a lot, or I don't know, you're very nervous like I am, I'm very nervous and sometimes that makes me sweaty. I digress, you don't need to know my whole life story. You probably are used to wearing a antiperspirant or presprint, perspirant. Okay, I don't know how to say words. So if you are a sweater, a sweaty, sweaty, hot tamale, then you probably are using an antiperspirant. So antiperspirant goes on your skin and usually the most common components of an antiperspirant are like aluminum, aluminum based compounds. And those compounds have certain certain kinds of ions that go into your little pores and they don't necessarily like clog up the pores but the ions cause like them to swell and then shut and then after your armpits have like held enough moisture then it starts wearing off and this is why you have to reapply antiperspirant after a certain amount of hours. Now with deodorant, deodorant works by making your skin underneath your arms or wherever you apply it more salty or more acidic so that the bacteria that comes and hangs out in this beautiful sweaty place doesn't become stinky. Now I am unaware of a natural non-aluminum antiperspirant, I say natural, like low on the EWG scale of like badness, <laughs> words, they're hard. Because they use certain compounds that make your glands like not let out moisture. So what a lot of people associate with deodorant is actually antiperspirant. So expect to sweat when you're switching over from a non-natural to a more natural based deodorant because deodorant and antiperspirants are very different but what we think of like commonly say deodorant, we're thinking of like an antiperspirant deodorant. If you guys want more information on how like all the stuff works on like a small level, go ahead and check out a link below. So I will not be showing you natural antiperspirants, but the way things like this, this Dove deodorant I found scratched up in an old gym bag, it's like really dirty, gross. They have things like aluminum zirconium, this is what's in this Dove deodorant, and that is what is going to keep you from perspiring. And then they have all these other like either salts or um, like acidic properties to make when you do get a little moisture or that you're just exposed to different bacteria that they don't smell so they don't breed and make you stinky. Now let's talk about the real deal with natural deodorants. Now a lot of people when they switch over to natural deodorants, me included, I remember just being like so smelly. There hasn't been a lot of research to back this up so I feel kind of weird about saying this but I really do feel like there's this detox stage. There's no way to detox unless your liver is detoxing yourself. But anyways, there is a stage when you're switching over from your normal deodorant to your more natural deodorant where it can really, really smell. Something that really helped me when I was taking a break from this stuff that is speculated to give you cancer and do all sorts of things to be found in your bloodstream years and years and in your tissues years and years later. So I was like, hmm, maybe not. I just took a break from deodorant altogether and I washed my underarms with like a natural soap, like a bar soap, but you can just get anything. Um, I know that you can do like a bentonite clay mask, you can search different masks, but for me, especially having darker skin tone and just having sensitive skin, I know like if I mess with such a delicate skin as like the underarm area, I can either get a rash or I can get some permanent darkening. I would be more careful about that, but don't be too worried about it. Just I liked to give myself like a week before I started trying the new natural stuff just because I felt like it had all gone by then and I was just like sweating. If you feel really stinky, homie, I know. 
<laughs> been there. And if you really feel like you're smelling badly, you can always just go wash with like water and soap to just get rid of that bacteria that causes odor. Another thing that I really wish someone had told me about switching from a not natural deodorant to a more natural one is that you can get hella skin irritation, like rashes, bumps, from using certain things that your body's allergic to. Now, just because something is natural doesn't mean that your body's not gonna like freak out when you put it on because natural stuff, you can be allergic to. Hay fever, pollen, flowers, allergies, you know this. And so some certain things can cause irritation and especially in the case of things with baking soda like a Schmitz deodorant, which I really, really loved that deodorant. I really liked the, um, the green one, I don't remember what it's called. Bergamot something. Thing. What I really liked about this deodorant is that it really held on to the underarms, but as someone who works out a lot and I lift weights, it's not just like a spin class, I sweat quite a bit. And with Schmitz, the area does stay smelling good, but it feels very slimy to me. And pretty soon after using Schmitz, I developed some crazy skin irritation. Now you can get this kind of skin irritation with the oils that are in the deodorant, whether it's just like the base oil, like a coconut, or the scents that are the, the essential oil scents that they traditionally put in these natural deodorants. Just because something's natural doesn't mean you're not gonna be allergic to it, doesn't mean that it can't extremely irritate your skin. If you know you have very sensitive skin, I would either go for the sensitive formula of these baking soda based coconut oily deodorants like a Schmitz, like Primal Pit Paste, here I'll put like some pictures of some coconut oil baking soda ones. And these work with the baking soda and it makes you not stink. These do not keep you from sweating. Now for me, I tried the sensitive and the normal Schmitz and I still got this irritation. So I tried to switch to a different base. Now my absolute favorite, favorite deodorant is this one from Herbin Cowboy. I actually like the scent, the star scent, the like yellow one the best, but I think this one smells better on me. So this one is the blossom scent and when you open it, it looks kind of like a pretty similar normal deodorant. I love this one. I think it smells so good. Now this does have quite a bit more ingredients than a Schmitz deodorant or a natural like coconut oil based one that you can like make at home by yourself. But for me as someone with sensitive skin, I have to tend to lean towards more man-made ingredients than natural because of the allergens and the irritants. So I really love this one. And first of all, when I work out, unlike these coconut oil based ones. This one does have a little bit of coconut oil in it, but the main ingredient is aloe. So it has this kind of like, I'm touching my deodorant, don't get grossed out. This is for science. <laughs> it feels almost like an aloe vera-y like, I don't know, it feels like aloe vera that's been dehydrated. So it has that smooth creaminess, but it's not oily like it's Schmitz is. And I find it so moisturizing. I think it also, this is weird, if you're really into armpits, you're gonna be into this video for all kinds of wrong reasons. But I think it keeps my armpits like very moisturized, smooth, like I don't feel like bumpy. Something I always noticed when I use this like traditional deodorant is that I always felt like after shaving or um, after showering, if I put it on, I felt it really dried out my underarms. Well, this makes them feel awesome. Now, this is not an antiperspirant, it is a deodorant. And as you sweat, the more you sweat, the more it washes it away. And so you have to reapply any of these deodorants. What I really recommend is to try to find scents that go with what your natural smell is. Now, you're probably like, ick, that's gross. You're a weird, hippie, crunchy granola chick. But yeah, I kind of am. Like, welcome to my channel. But for me, I found the way like my natural sweat smells, it combines really well with like a citrusy, florally, brighter scents as opposed to some like darker, uh, richer scents, if that makes sense. <laughs> makes, does that sense make sense? Okay. <laughs> I have so much fun by myself in my house. <laughs> so I find the blossom is really nice to me. I like the scent on its own of the like star one, superstar, I believe that's what it's called. But I think the blossom smells better on me. It has more, it's not that like grandma rose scent. I think it's a little more leaning towards that shower fresh scent with a li little light scent of floral. That's my top favorite deodorant. The next one I really like, I was actually recommended by Hannah Hagler. Hi Hannah, thank you. And it is this crystal roll-on deodorant. This is specifically the roll-on. I don't think the other ones 
with the stone work well at all and it kind of rolls like a little roller ball of perfume and you can put that on. I love how it feels under the underarms. If you do have um, a hard time with like sliminess or texture feeling, you might like this one the best. Now, I like the moisturizing effect of the Urban Cowboy. That's why it's my number one go-to ride or die, but this one is great. The one thing I don't like about this one is just the scent. It comes in a bunch of other scents, and I just don't think that the lavender smells good with my body composition, so I would probably go for like a more citrusy smell in the future. Another thing that I really don't like about it is that you have to let it dry, and I don't got time for that, but <laughs> sometimes I do, and I really like, it says it's 24 hours. Of course, if you're sweating a lot, you're gonna have to reapply it. That's just the way deodorant works and no one talks about it. So take this like 24 hour label with a grain of salt, but if you really like that dry feeling and go out into the world, I would take this one definitely, especially if you're having trouble with that sliminess feeling. Now I don't think the Urban Cowboy one is slimy compared to pretty much all the other ones out there, but if you like a really, really like dry feel, this one's the one for you. And last, but certainly not least, going off with the theme that like no one is talking about how you have to reapply deodorant and it's not an antiperspirant. Sometimes homegirl doesn't wanna throw these two things in my cute, tiny little like smushy bag and I just like have them rattle around in there all day. So something I really love and is so useful are these Pacifica deodorant wipes. Oh my gosh. So these Pacifica deodorant wipes are great. They actually kind of look like those Neutrogena face wash wipes. They have, I didn't ever throw this away. They have this opening that opens like this. You get a wipe and you can wipe it underneath your underarms. I actually went to an event with Pacifica and I got to try a bunch of their new deodorant wipes coming out and the Gardenia is totally my favorite. It smells so Good. It smells like a really good massage. I think I smell so good when I wear it, but I really like floral scents. But this is so good. I have so many scents of it from going to this event and they're like everywhere. They're in my car, they're in like every single purse that I own. They are incredible. And see, you just take one out like so, like one of those Neutrogena wipes that everyone used back in the day. Don't use those, they're not good for your skin. And they're not cruelty free and vegan, so don't use them. And then you just take it like that and then you just wipe. I never thought I would be doing this on the internet. And I like this because it feels like you're getting the bacteria and everything and you're wiping it off. So you're cleansing the area and you're getting deodorant on it. And then you just kind of let it dry. And I think I smell so good and they're flat and they're not gonna like open up and spill and a piece isn't gonna come out of it like, you know, like a traditional deodorant, like you sometimes the whole glob comes out or it's not gonna spill. I love these, these are great. I remember when I saw this and I went to the event and I was like, that's kind of a weird idea to have a deodorant wipe. Why would that be useful? But after having worn natural deodorant for like over six years now, this, I think, is one of the most important tools you can have to transition because you have to reapply natural deodorant because there's no antiperspirant ingredient that's making your glands hold in water. All these nice natural things that you're putting on your skin gets washed away anyways, which is why everyone thinks natural deodorants don't work. Quote, quote, quote. They do work, but not for the extended amount of time that an antiperspirant with all these yucky things that they're finding out aren't so good for you does. These are great because they cleanse the area and they apply deodorant and it's going to extend the cycle of you smelling good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it dispelled some of the common misconceptions that we have around natural deodorant. I hope you are on your way to smelling better and feeling a little more healthy and secure about what you're putting under your armpits. Thank you guys so much for watching my armpit video. I'll see you guys next time very soon. Bye. What do you eat? What about me? What about protein? What about cheese?